Hi, it's Phil. I'm just going to take you through how to run the Class 1 uh, leakage test today using the Prime Test Elite. So first of all we need to make sure that we're plugged into power. Even though this is a portable tester we still need to plug into mains to be able to do the leakage test. I'll plug in the clamp, the probe lead, into the red socket. Notice that it's all colour coded so we can't get it too wrong. I'll now get my class 1 device, in this um, case it's a, an iron, and plug it into the power socket. On the tester, uh, we're on the asset ID. We'll now select the test sequence, so it's a D, so that's our class 1 leakage. The site, yeah, well that hasn't changed. It just defaults to what it was. Uh, the location, still defaulting. And the retest period, uh, at this, this stage is three months. And then we push the button that corresponds with the green tick. First part of the test is the visual. So we've run through the visual, check that the lead's okay, that it's got its uh, labelling on, there's no damage, all the controls are okay and we push pass all. Now we're doing the earth test. It's recorded a result of 0 0.08, 0 0.26. Okay, so if I wanted to run that test again, I can by pushing the green button. I've done enough earth tests, so I now push the red button. We skip the test, so we skip out of the earth test, push green again, and now we're going to be running the IR test. So that's the insulation resistance test, because this is an earth appliance, we don't need to use the probe again, and push the green. We know that that needs to be greater than one mega. That was okay. So now we're doing the leakage test. This is uh, just telling you that uh, that leakage test is going to be turned on. Now because this is an earth appliance, we're looking for uh, less than five milliamps. At, in this case, it's uh, 0.04. And also something new with this tester is the uh, load, so you can see how much uh, current it's drawing during the test. When we're finished, push the red button and we end the test and save the results. Now this is a steam iron, so I'll record that. It knows that I've uh, used steam iron before, so it's uh, predicted it for me. In here the make is, well it's a Tiffany, and it's a Tiffany S1812, so I've done one of them before. There's no serial number here, so I'll just do NSN, no serial number, and record any other information that we require, and press save. You've seen me print a label before, we won't do that again. Well that's how we do a class one leakage test. I'll see you again next time.